Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up multiple routes on a HTTP web server running on the ASP32 using the Arduino core. I'll be using an ASP32 FireBeetle board from DFRobot. So basically uh, this tutorial is not uh, very different from the one where we have introduced uh, how to get started uh, with the HTTP async web server libraries but in the examples I've been showing I'm only using uh, one route for the sake of simplicity and um, I, I just wanted to demonstrate that this uh, server can work well with multiple routes uh, as we'll see in a minute. So uh, this is not much different from, from what we have been covering in terms of coding. Uh, it's, it's more to show um, this possibility of having the, the multiple routes. Um, so moving on to the code. Uh, as we usually do, we include the Wi-Fi.edge library and uh, a sync web server uh, library. So we can both connect the SP32 to Wi-Fi network and set up the server. And then here, uh, we need to put the credentials of the network to which we are going to connect uh, so the SP32 can connect to that uh, Wi-Fi network. Uh, as we have been seen in the previous tutorials, we need an object of class uh, of class async web server, uh, which we will use to set up uh, all the routes of the server uh, and to start the server so it uh, starts listening to incoming uh, HTTP requests. Uh, if we move on to the... Um, set up we do what we usually do like opening uh, the serial port so we can output some content then connect the sp32 to the wi-fi network and finally printing the local ip assigned to the sp32 uh, so we can later reach it uh, from a client uh, in our case we are going to use a web browser but of course that uh, it could be a different client but that client will need to know the ip of the server so uh, now the part that matters the most is here where we are going to declare the multiple routes of our server and as i've said usually uh, in the previous tutorials we are only uh, declaring one route because i'm usually showing uh, something very specific and i don't want to to get sidetracked uh, with a lot of routes but in this specific tutorial we are going to to declare a couple of routes and i'm going to show you that everything works well uh, if we try to access them. So, uh, to declare a route, uh, we use this on method on our server object and we pass as first input uh, the route. As you can see, I'm declaring three different routes here. Um, I'm just, uh, I'm just uh, changing the, uh, this number appended to the route uh, word just for illustration purposes but we declare multiple routes the same way always using the on method uh, and all the three routes will be registered um, if we call uh, this method multiple times so uh, for this simple example I'm only listening to HTTP GET requests on these routes and then the handling function uh, will return uh, an HTTP uh, OK uh, response, which is a 200, the code. Uh, the content type will be uh, plain text, and for each different route, we'll uh, return a different uh, message. So later we can see that everything was correctly configured. So uh, this is it. Not uh, It's not very difficult. As I've said, it's just a matter of registering more routes uh, before starting the server and uh, uh, the libraries, the framework will take care of everything uh, else under the hood. Uh, so it will be the, the framework that knows when to call uh, the corresponding handling function if, if a request is made to a corresponding route. We don't need to worry uh, more about this. Finally, uh, as we have been doing before, we call this begin method on the server object. So the server starts um, listening to the requests from this point onward. And as usually, the main loop can be left empty if we don't have any other code uh, to put here because this is an asynchronous, uh, asynchronous solution. So you don't need to worry about pulling some kind of object uh, to check if, the, if new requests are coming off or if new clients are connected. So after you upload the code, if you open the Arduino with the serial monitor, you should have the local IP assigned to the SP32 here. Uh, you need to copy it, so we can later use it uh, in our web browser, as I'm going to do here. So I'm going to open Google Chrome in my case, and I'm going to put here HTTP, and here the IP I've just copied and now I'm going to test all the three routes to show you that everything is working. So I'm going to start by route 1 
and as, as you can see here uh, the message return uh, is the one we defined in the handling function for this route and if I'm keep if I keep uh, um, testing the other routes as you can see route 2 the corresponding function route 2 sorry the corresponding message and if I move to route 3 of course I, I get the route 3 um, message so as you can see uh, it's just a matter of adding new routes to our server and we don't need to worry about uh, like routing each different request to a different route and the, which is why I really like this library uh, it is very powerful and you can do a lot of stuff with it and there's still plenty of, um, of functionalities uh, to cover and I expect to do it in future tutorials thank you very much for watching uh, hope you have enjoyed